let's have a look at the satellite of Florence. And it has changed in the last 24 hours, quite a bit, in fact. Uh, yesterday, it had a solid eye on there. It was a major hurricane. Now it's down a little bit. The upper level winds uh, ate away at this somewhat enough that it came down to a Category 2 hurricane. So right now it's about 170 miles to the southeast of Wilmington. It's moving in that direction. That's the center of the storm. But look, there's already some bands, some heavy rain bands, which are reaching north of Hatteras. And this is the rain shield, the constant rain that's already reached Hatteras. So you're in for a long haul for some of this rain. Now here's the latest information. Winds of 110 miles an hour moving northwest at 12 miles per hour. And uh, there's the pressure. Now this is forecast to move towards Wilmington early Friday morning as a Category 2 hurricane. It moves west, it weakens a little bit, moves down to the southwest, and then back northward over Sunday into Monday as a tropical depression. Now, it will stay away from here, but at the same time, uh, look how far away the rain reaches on this graphic. This is the future track model. It's got all the heaviest rain near the center, yes, but some of that heavy rain in towards our region. And there's also going to be a stationary front here, and it may interact with the system. So that's why I think we're going to see a lot of rain in our region because of that interaction. Plus, there's just so much humidity coming in. So lots of rain. Northeast North Carolina could be a long term constant rain there for a while. And uh, even more rain on Saturday. I think it'll be a little bit more set, uh, scattered as we go later into Saturday, though, and then into Sunday, things should improve. Now, here's what you can expect region by region. Over the Outer Banks, five to nine inches of rain, a few places, maybe up to 10 inches. We'll see. It depends on the track. Winds 45 to 55 miles an hour, gust to 74 miles an hour possible. And that's why you've got that hurricane warning over the Outer Banks and the Albemarle Sound. Uh, four to seven foot storm surge along the Outer Banks, mainly from south of Manio. Beach erosion is likely high waves, 15 feet or higher. Inland, northeast North Carolina, five to eight inches of rain, 10 inches locally. That basically is from this part of Currituck County all the way back to Hertford County and Northampton County. Winds 25 to 35, gusts to 60. Now, this is mostly for tomorrow. Today, there's some of these conditions, but it's mostly for tomorrow. Four to six foot storm surge uh, over the western Albemarle Sound. Those winds are going to drive the water over to southern Bertie County, southern Chowan, southern Perquimans, and even parts of southern Pasquotank counties. The water's going to add up. There'll be some flooding there. Now, uh, here's the south side forecast Virginia Beach, back over to Franklin. Three to five inches of rain locally could be up to six. We've got 25 to 35 mile an hour winds, gust of 45, and moderate tidal flooding for you. On the peninsulas, both Hampton and Gloucester, we're looking at 3 to 5 inches possible, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, gust of 40. Again, this is mostly tomorrow, all of this. Moderate to major tidal flooding, both river systems. The, the tides are going to push up in there. James River, you could see some moderate to major tidal flooding. I think 5.5 feet is what I saw for the tide for you. That is considered major. Now, uh, as you go to the eastern shore, northern neck, less conditions, rain 2 to 4 inches, maybe even less than that, minor, minor tidal flooding. All right, so we've got the winds here, the wind uh, gust. Let's have a look at that with meteorologist Deidre Tate. All right, as you see, the winds are definitely getting a bit stronger as we have gusts right now over 30 miles per hour down towards the Cape Hatteras area. And we're expecting the winds to continue to increase and get to around tropical storm force as we work towards later this afternoon for parts of the area. That's why we do have tropical storm warnings in place for Hampton Roads. Here's a look at the uh, wind estimate based on the forecast model, and it has winds getting up to about 25 miles per hour as we go towards later tonight. Again, this is just the forecast model uh, through early tomorrow morning, but we're thinking it'll be again stronger. Than this, hence the warning is in place. We're expecting winds to be sustained close to around 35 miles per hour as we head towards our Friday morning, actually. And then we're going to keep it near tropical storm force in terms of sustained winds gusting higher as we work through the day. So, again, the forecast model has it a little bit less than what we're thinking, but nonetheless, be prepared for the winds tomorrow. Uh, the wind field affiliated with Florence extends out really far from the center. Tropical storm force winds right now extend out about 200 miles. So, again, we are going to tap into that. As far as the forecast for today, Timing. We're expecting a few rain bands to move in. It'll be squally at times. The wind's picking up really windy as we work our way towards Friday. Again, we're expecting most of the conditions to be felt on Friday with wind and rain and tidal flooding being anywhere from moderate to even major in some spots. But this is for Sewell's Point. We're expecting near moderate tidal flooding for early tomorrow mornings. The high tide time coming in around 1 a.m., getting up to about 5.2 feet. As we head towards Friday afternoon high tide, about 1.30 or so, it's going to get up to about 5.6 feet. That's moderate. It'll stay right about there as we head towards Saturday morning's high tide coming in at about 2 a.m. 
as far as the rainfall chance is kind of breaking out your day through about midday. You're not going to deal with a lot of rain. We'll have a few scattered showers out there, but again, not much before noon for Hampton Roads. Rain will be more uh, apparent for those of you across northeastern North Carolina, primarily the Outer Banks. But as we work through the afternoon into the evening, the rain coverage steady goes up. So again, from that point, we're expecting it to be a rainy scenario as we head into Friday and even Saturday. But then as we head towards Sunday, the wind goes, goes down a little bit and we're also expecting this the rain to slack up. All right, yeah, thanks, Dietra. And uh, yeah, we got the rain coming in today in the form of rain bands. The constant rain's already gotten to Hatteras. That's going to go for a while. And then some of those rain bands are going to push north up into Hampton Roads. We'll get kind of waves of that today. And then tomorrow, more rain as it interacts with that stationary front that's hanging around.